Good day to everyone. Uh, this is a continuation of our G lessons about teacher book. So, we are continuing the lesson 3. Uh, if you look up in the lesson 3, we are only done with the verbs. So, we have I showed to you the lessons about the integration of picture, the image, and then the text. And also, I showed in the previous video about uh, what is the quiz tree so how it being done so this time um, we're going to record or to check the responses of our students if you can see here I already started uh, some of the answers so for the benefit of everyone so I will have to start over on, on how we're going to extract the answer of our students so in this video um it's very long because they have a lot of options and our quiz as you notice it is 20 items so this time we will have to do the whole thing so this is the sheet 2 and then we have the sheet number 1 or sheet 1 so uh, let's just check the timestamp and also the attributes, last name, first name, regular, linking, action, finit, regular, helping, non finit, finit 1, action, regular 1, finit 2, finit 3. So as you notice here, we have finit answers. So even though the options or the answers still finit, but in our attribute, we number that one, 1, 2, and 3. For us, um, the teacher bot will assign a particular attribute. But that's the answer still could be intensive, transitive, modal, scheme, felt, painted, and lifted. So if you look at here, um, I have already the answers. So in, in the other, uh, I'm acting here as a student. So how it works. So I will delete this one, this row, for us to generate new answer. So right click then delete two rows to entry. After deleting that one, so we still have also to delete in the sheet two. And that we have. So since we are uh, so we have to, to erase also. First to start it over. Okay. So First things first, we have the sheet 1 is here, so, empty, and um, then in the sheet 2, so we're going to have our if function. So if functions, it is already uh, shown to you in the previous uh, video, but here um, we have to do a very lengthy one. So a very lengthy one because it's 20 items so what I'm going to do here in this cell I'm going to have the sheet 1, b2 just only to copy the name and then we have also the first name and then we have also this one so what I'm going to do is to check if we have if functions uh, if function is being placed in place here is correct so let us check. So uh, for the shortcut of the body, it is too lengthy to have this kind of if function. So what you need to do is just only um, configure or program or put an if function in the side and then the rest of the whole thing is going to copy. So we have here if then sheet one d uh, two so the sheet one then is equal to irregular so if it is irregular so the, uh, the score is 1 and otherwise is 0 so what you need to do here is you need to copy control C and then put, and proceed to the next cell then control victory yeah. okay, so if you look up on it so the answer is linking so we just only to change this one to linking okay. And enter. 
So, that would be copy paste. So, then for the action, for the finite, for the regular, for the healthy, non finite, then finite one, then okay, finite one. So, we have here um, the answer would be finite. Okay, then the action is one is action the answer would be action so let's edit the whole thing and then the regular this is regular so if you notice here uh, in the attributes there's a one but in the sheet we have to put the correct answer that would be the, uh, so that the integration will be successful so um, I put minor corrections here Transitive one for the transitive. So what happened here? I type uh, so I just corrected the models came when felt type it and we can then um, we have the score. So for the scores, the expression is equal sum d2 to w then close parenthesis so where the rest of the whole thing so in this slide in this presentation so just only drag so drag that one and then put another so I'm going to drag for the first name to be appear okay next so just to so since we put corrections so we have to drag everything Then we have the finite, the regular. So, as already been in our previous presentation or a video, but still others and add on. So, this is the very complicated one. So, for those who want to advance their teacher bot, so have find time for to doing this one but if you are familiar what you are doing then uh, immediately you can have it so well okay so now we are now finished then another finished answer okay so let's go back here I'm going to be sure that the answers are all correct. Uh, I tried to drag everything, but somehow along the way, uh, there's an error. That is why uh, I decided in this presentation to drag uh, set column by column. I tried to drag everything, but somehow. Um, I cannot trace well the what I uh, will trace what would be the error. So I decided here to point and draw. So we can drag it uh, other way, but somehow uh, if we cannot be sure, we are not so sure if we if our configuration has been copied well. So we are done. If you want to check, then will be the sheet then. So let's proceed now to our picture bot. So we have here. So our teacher bot the, the, the previous lessons in our uh, presentation, the last video that we have. So let's just go back. So just type quiz. Okay, for the quiz 3, so we have the finite and answer, so finite, non-finite, so we have to choose the answer, so we have finite, so in uh, this only testing, so right or wrong answers, 
continue and next we have ang tapo lang regular so I do you already seen this one in the previous lesson so uh, what is our interest here now is how it being integrated and so that we are much interested as a feature of the responses of our students so how do we collect them and how to put into grades we have number six so i will do it quickly action and mind you also wrong spelling wrong So, uh, helping. So we are now on the part two. So in the part two, the a quiz about picture, picture quiz. So we have here pictures we need. I just do it quickly. Uh, what matter most here is that we're going to have. The, the responses of the students okay so next density and the next is in transitive Okay, then we have the models. Okay. Have the models. So we have the part three. So we have some called King. Number seven went. Then, how about our fields? Okay. The nine. For the last option, number 10, so we will see, check that one or see in our Google Sheets. Okay, so as you look at here, the timestamp, the name, and then we have the regular linking, action, helping, helping, delete, transfer. So these are the responses that we have done. So what we interest more is we are much interested more in the sheet two. So let us see that's sheet two. So in the sheet two, so the answers are being here, so the standard area and then so on. So not automatic checking and the scores is same. Okay. So successful. Okay, let's proceed to another one. Office three. So go back to the chatbot. It's three. So go back to the infinite or infinite. So we have here irregular. So next linking. Next. Action Then we have Finite Next Regular Next 
next healthy seven is non ini then eight action action nine is ah apa lah action then number ten is regular We have the quiz two, part two. The part two we have here. We need and we need then entran sitio. Next is transitive. Then next would be models. Next is scheme. Seven one. Eight felt felt <laughs> felt then painted okay for the last number we have lifted So let's go back to our Google Sheet. Okay, so if you look at here, these are the scores. So okay, one mistake. So in this video, I'm sharing to you a very lengthy one of integration. So as I recall, we're going to have your attributes. So, tend to adjust the columns in order to see the whole thing. So, tend to adjust the column. So, we have here the scores. Okay, 8 and then here 19. So, we'll get a mistake. So, okay, indefinite. So, we can find out that one also. So, the Buddhist scores converted. And for this, this one. So, you need density models in computer. Okay, so, I hope that I can, I can help you in improving your teacher bot. And don't forget to subscribe for the new or notifications or new update based on the teacher book. So, I am making the lesson 4 and I will be doing also another integration that we can use in our teaching. Okay? So, I think that's all for today and thank you for watching.